last but certainly not least, Calista Adkins with her business concept, Tallulah. I'll let you take it away. Thank you. Hello, my name is Calista Adkins. I am a recent University of Cincinnati industrial design graduate with a minor in business management and Tallulah was my capstone project that I decided to pursue further. So I'd like you all to meet Megan. Um, prior to the pandemic, Megan liked to go outside um, with her dog. She liked to visit a lot of like local parks and stuff. And the pandemic hit and all of her life turned indoors. So she started working from home and looking at her surroundings and realizing that her home was very stagnant and didn't really inspire her. So she turned out to be one of the seven out of 10 millennials who turned to plants um, after the pandemic and started integrating plants into her home. And it started with just one house plant and then another, and then another, and then it overtook and took up most of her horizontal spaces in her home. So she looked for a solution that put those plants on vertical spaces to get some of her horizontal spaces back. And she bought these buckets you see that are just at Lowe's as like a fast solution that she found, although she didn't really like how they looked. So she looked to the market to see if there was any other option out there that was maybe looked a little cooler, was more of a long-term solution. And there was nothing really that fell into this lower cost, but more aesthetically pleasing section. So that's where Tallulah would come in. So the current houseplant market is about a $15 billion market and millennials make up $10 billion of that. This can be plant lovers or new plant owners or people who just want greenery in their home. And what do all those people have in common? They all need something to keep their plants in. So plant pots make up about a billion dollars of that. So going into designing this, I knew it had to be modular. Um, it had to multiple to fit on a wall. Um, it had to be customizable. You had to be able to change out what plants were in it. Um, and it had to be safe for multiple different types of plants, easy to use. Aesthetically, it had to look like nothing else on the market. And it had to have a support system through a blog and a website for those new plant parents, as well as those experienced plant parents. So this is the design after many iterations that I came up with. It's this diamond shape, currently has a vacuum formed base with a wooden frame, has four spots for plants. The top is flat for a lighting attachment if needed. Internally, all these pots wick to a water reservoir um, that lets through capillary action, lets the plants, you know, take water as they need it. And the back, there is a hanging mechanism so it can be hung on a wall. So I took this design out to 101 people just like Megan and 97% of them wanted to buy one. Um, they all enjoyed that it held more than one plant and they enjoyed that they could remove the plant pots from it for easier watering. And everyone was excited about it. But one of these points that bugged me was that only 43% believed it fit with their current decor. So as a designer, that bothered me. <laughs> and I took my design and I went back to the drawing board a little bit. And I came up with um, a couple different options. So a darker frame with a ceramic front, some lighter options. That one in the middle is all black, it is not purple, um, <laughs> as well as a DIY option that they could paint to whatever color that they saw fit. And out of those options, the all black and the DIY is what won out amongst customers. Um, the DIY, they could paint the same color as their wall to make it look like a sculpture that was actually coming out of their wall, which was really cool. And so where am I at today? This is my current prototype. Um, one issue with these prototypes is the front face and how it's made. Um, that is kind of what I need help with, is what that face composition is made out of um, to make it watertight, to fix the tolerances on it a little bit, because I had a little bit of buckling that you can see in that photo. And then, like I had mentioned, this was my capstone project. I won um, Most Sustainable Dapworks Award. Um, and I like to call these prototypes like my 80% final because I'm still trying to figure out that front face composition. And then once I figure that out, going into how that works in small batch and mass production, team building, because currently it is just me, building a socially responsible business that gives back to nonprofits. 
as well as app development um, for the support system, marketing, and packaging to consumers, which would all lead to a small batch product launch. And then here's QR code to give me feedback if you are so inclined, um, my LinkedIn. And if you would like to see more of the design aspect, some of my sketches and what my research that led up to it, um, the bottom right QR code is my Behance project. So thank you.